how's it going? So we are in Cleveland, Ohio this morning. We've got Aaron and Jack Barnwell with me this morning on our way in to the Great Big Home and Garden Show. So I'm super excited to give you guys a look around. It's gonna be a super busy day. Um, I'm speaking twice and doing a couple meet and greets. Here we go. And it is huge in here. There's already people lining up out here and I'm seeing a, a Ferris wheel. Oh my word. We're backstage right now and I, I am nervous because this is completely out of my comfort zone. Well, you know what, if... <laughs> but, but I'm really excited. I'm excited that everybody's here. Jack's and here. Yeah, Jack's here. But moral support back here. I so yeah, Matt's here. So we're all good. Morty's right. starting to sweat though. That's not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you, Matt, for your introduction. So I grew up in the industry. This is my parents' garden center. Again, it's in a, a Eastern Oregon a town called Ontario. Jack and I will both be at the Petites Garden booth right after this if you want to come talk with myself or him or Aaron. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, John. You will be able to continue to eat here. Jack is going to drive us to the Petites Garden booth right now so we can do a little meet and greet. Oh, this breeze feels great. I can go faster. <laughs> yes. Oh. So Jack and I are heading into the booth right now. It looks like there's already people here for the meet and greet. That's fun. Ooh. done with our first meet and greet. This is the background right here. You see Petiti's Garden Centers and Proven Winners. We had a wonderful group. They all lined up right behind me, right there. Amazing group of people. So now we're going to go take a little break and then we are going to do it again. One more presentation, one more meet and greet. It's been an awesome day so far. We are going to go see about getting a ride on this. I don't remember the last time I was on a Ferris wheel. The only thing that would make this ride better is if I had cotton candy. Jack said there was cotton candy. Jack, where's the cotton candy? Ooh. Oh my word. Oh, you wanna know what? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh my word, oh my word. Nope. It, it messes with you. Yeah. Mm. It's this part right here. Uh, okay. Okay. It has been an absolute whirlwind of a day, a great day. Um, so I actually did two presentations and two meet and greets. The second pre presentation I feel like went a little bit better, probably because I was all practiced up from the first one. Um, but there was a ton of people, a ton of you guys came. So to those of you who showed up for both the presentations and the meet and greets, I really appreciate it. That was super encouraging to me. Um, but Aaron and I had a chance to sit and eat for a few minutes and then I got all chilled because I'm probably coming down off of the adrenaline from the day so I've got my coat on. But I do want to give you a look around a few parts of the show starting with the Petiti's Garden booth. So their booth is actually right at the entrance of the show. If you look down this way you can see like the food area is over here. There's a huge, that huge Ferris wheel over there. And Petiti's Garden booth actually spans all the way from that board, that like sign board over there, all the way over here it's a massive display and it's beautiful so i'm just going to point out a few things here i love the ivy border that they did here it looks very simple fresh and classic and i love to see all the tulips and you guys have to keep in mind these plants have been in here for over a week inside uh, so they are looking really great and fresh for having been in here that long uh, you can see inside here a little showcase oh there's some espoma we know what that is. And then there's a display of a bunch of the new Proven Winners plants um, and some that we are familiar with as well. You can see some new caladiums there. There's the Golden Dreams coleus that I love so much. I could spend days in here showing you guys each individual plant. 
Unfortunately, I don't think we have that long before the show closes. And Benjamin would flip out if he saw this. Oh my word, he would want to get in there so bad. But you see the old suitcases with succulents. Really sweet. I love the color palette that they've got going on. The variegated ivy with the yellow tulips, boxwoods, it's all beautiful. I love this. We're seeing people playing cards at the table, sitting and relaxing. And then if you go through this way, there's a little Petiti's Garden Center kind of pop-up shop where they've got all kinds of beautiful things. And I'm seeing an ivy topiary I want. Yes. So now we're gonna go over into the garden showcase. And this is an area where there are a ton of garden installations where you can get a ton of inspiration. It's typically a lot darker in these areas and cooler so that the plants will last longer. Keep in mind, these plants have been in here for over a week, um, right at this point when we're seeing them. Uh, and I'm not sure how well we're gonna be able to see everything because of how dim it is, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll see how we can do. There's still a lot of really great color and you guys, I can smell the hyacinths already, like way from, from way back there. Let's see if I can show you some of the layering here. Oh, can you guys see that structure? Oh my word. Oh, and that table's gorgeous too. Oh, I want it. Just add a little glass and you've got yourself a gorgeous greenhouse. Oh, they've got a fountain installed in the center. Wow. To imagine that all of these things are installed on bare concrete floor, like, just last week, there was nothing in here. This week, running water. You can see the gorgeous layering here with the boxwoods. There's the fine line buckthorns back there. Then there was boxwoods, hydrangeas, and tulips. Oh boy, this one over here looks amazing from this distance. Before I came in here, Aaron was like, don't make this video two hours long. You don't need to show every single little detail. I'm gonna have a hard time because this is absolutely beautiful in here. Look at this. This is the entryway display. I think I came in the side door. Oh, and look at this little area. They've created this really natural looking spot with a little wolf coming out. So the next garden I wanna show you guys was put together by the Ohio State University Agricultural Technical Institute. And they're calling it the fourth season, celebrating the subtle beauty of a, the winter garden. So in this space, it's celebrating all winter plants. There's nothing that's been forced into bloom early. These are all things we could put in our yard and have them look beautiful this time of year in our own gardens, which I really love that approach. So just take a glance there. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at all the color and the texture that we have going on, all from winter plants. So we'll start here in this island. First off, you notice, well, I noticed the witch hazel right away. And mine are about ready to bloom at home, super excited. And then this I love. I really appreciate the fact that they put a hellebore in here that looks natural. Like these leaves would be leaves I would eventually go in and clean off so it would just highlight this fresh spring growth. But this is like true to what it does in nature and what it looks like this time of year. But you can see the beautiful flowers. Love that bright white. Then of course the red berries, the grass texture, the evergreens. Just take a quick walk through here. And then really things like this, like this is a summer suite. Look at how much interest and texture that this plant right here adds. It's really interesting. And then uh, dogwoods that have really bright, like Arctic sun. I don't know if that's what this one is. This one's winter flame. Um, but if you put things in like that, that have brightly colored branches, there's hydrangeas with the blooms on them still. Another natural looking hellebore. And then look at that. This is a Nisbet's Gold Pine. That's a beauty. That shows up so well. Red twig dogwood. Oriental spice bush right here with the leaves still intact. I do not have any Pachysandra, I don't think, in my garden. But that looks good right there. Dragon's Eye Pine. And then right here, we can see a twisty baby locust right down here, paper bark maple. So really highlighting the structure of plants that have really interesting looking branches that are gnarled and twisted. 
and then really interesting looking bark. Let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. I always love to see these displays with a bunch of spring beauty and spring color, but I just really love the fact that somebody's celebrating the winter gar garden over there. It's really refreshing. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Oh, how wonderful. Look at how beautiful this is. This one has been roped off for obvious reasons, I think. Beautiful scene. There are really beautiful water features everywhere. It makes me want to up my game in my fairy gardens. So there is a ton to see in here, and this show is absolutely worth attending. If you are anywhere even remotely near, there are so many beautiful things. and. I'm guessing it's like this every year because I'm hearing from lots of different people who say they come every year and how inspired they are every year. Um, so I think that's what all I'm going to show you here from the show. I think I'm going to pick this video up tomorrow because we are going to Petiti's Garden Center, well, a growing facility for sure, and hopefully a garden center in the morning before I come back for my next presentation. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. So we're now at Casa Verde, which is a growing facility of Petiti's Garden Centers. And they've got over a million square feet of production here with annuals and perennials. And I just saw a big section of citrus trees. So this is going to be a real treat. I'm gonna to try to capture as much as possible. Quick little glance right now. Look at all of those orchids. Like this is incredible. Table of succulents. And calanchos. Look at this, oh my word. So this is a propagation greenhouse right here. Look at this. See if that's what's watering? Is that what waters right there? Uh, boom's getting ready to mess, yeah. Oh. So there's little magnets and zones. Each crop is uh, more specific in what needs water and what doesn't need water. Uh -huh. So it's probably going to a certain zone and the water will come on here in a minute. Oh. So all the herbs are in purple cans, which I love. <laughs> Look at this. Can you imagine 200,000 hanging baskets? They said that uh, about mid-April is like peak season in these greenhouses for color and it just like they're loaded. So these start on the ground and then they all get moved up. Oh look, this is interesting. So they flood irrigate in this spot right here. You can see where that water is bubbling up from the floor. And these are all hydrangeas and then they can just drop moisture from underneath. Wow, look at the trunk on that thing. <gasps> all fruit. Oh my goodness. We could make a lot of creme brulee out of this plant. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. It smells amazing in here and check out the size of this. Look at that. Mine looks super sad compared to these. <laughs> oh my word. Look at that color on the Louisia. Whoa. This is my favorite right here. Elise. I've grown this one before. We're checking out what heats this place. There's a big wood boiler. Oh, I see it, yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Wow. So we just got done at the growing facility and I hope I got some good footage for you guys to see because it's amazing. There are so many beautiful plants, but now we're in Strongsville, Ohio at um, one of the Petites garden centers. There are nine total, but look at this garden center. So this is a big water feature right here and then this massive structure. I can't wait to go inside. Oh, and you guys do a, like a line of outdoor furniture, the whole shoot and match. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Oh, I love this. Look at how this is displayed. Beautiful. Oh. I would buy all the topiaries, all of them. So this whole area loads up with perennials and annuals and shrubs and then along the back, way back there, uh, trees. This is a huge area out here. Look at all of this, you guys. 
check that out. All right, guys, so Aaron and I are actually back at the airport in Cleveland. After we were done touring Petiti's Garden Center this morning, we went back to the convention center. I did one more presentation, we did one more meet and greet, and I think everything went really well. We felt super welcomed by everybody at the Great Big Home and Garden Show. And to all of you guys who made an effort to come out and see us, thank you so much. It made us feel super encouraged and super loved. I truly hope that we were able to capture what the show is like for you guys so that you guys could experience a little bit of what it was like like even though you couldn't be there as well so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video cannot wait to get home and see Benjamin and we will see you in the next one bye